watching my video. Here we are at 4104 Wellington. It is in Colleyville. It's just a beautiful house. This is the neighborhood. I just kind of wanted to cap capture, you know, what the, the surrounding homes looked like. Man, they've got some great landscaping over there. Here we have some uh, wonderful landscaping. It is considered definitely low maintenance. There's not a whole lot that you have to do to it. And I think as a lot of these mature, it's gonna look even better. Um, this is the exterior of the house. There is a three car garage. Make sure that uh, you're aware of that. This neighborhood does not have a lot of three car garages, so that is definitely a great feature. One of my other favorite things about this home is that it is all one story. So it's 2,900 square feet or right in that range, um, all on one story. So uh, that's great. There's no major step ups, step downs, no, you know, nothing like that. Um, so I think it's very, very convenient. Um, if you have any mobility issues or anything like that, this is a great house for you. Uh, but even if you don't, if you don't want to go up and downstairs all day long, I totally get that. So here is the front door. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like right whenever you walk in. So it opens up to an actual entryway. Um, I say that because some homes just don't have anything. The first thing that will catch your eye is the tall ceilings. Uh, that is an awesome feature. I think it just makes the volume of the house, obviously it makes the volume of the house bigger. It makes it seem so much larger. Uh, I really like that. Whenever we look over to the left, we have a what could be used as a formal living room. It does not have to be a formal living room, obviously. Um, and then a formal dining room. So there's quite a bit of space here. The dimensions are online on the listing, uh, but it's it's pretty large if you wanted to repurpose that, uh, that area of the home. Now, whenever you walk down the entryway into, or you take a right really quick, there's kind of this small room. This could be easily used as a craft room. Uh, it could be used as an office. I like it. Uh, maybe a nursery, I, I've seen that as well. Um, you know, I've seen people use these kind of rooms like that. But it is small, it does have a window. Um, it's definitely not a bedroom, but it is potentially um, a really useful space, you know? Nice to be able to hide all of your, your junk if you, leave, if you live messy. So anyways, um, moving further down the hall, just really quick, I'm gonna show you the front door that we just walked in through to give you a perspective. There's the dining room and all that kind of stuff too. There's a little, I had somebody call it a Harry Potter room today for that small room. I'm not quite sure why, but I liked it. Anyways, uh, so you go to this area and you have two different openings. They all kind of lead um, to the main living area and then some bedrooms. But here's the kitchen. I will show you this in detail shortly. Um, and let's go see these. There are two bedrooms that are divided up by a bathroom with a little Jack and Jill bathroom. But I love this bar that kind of goes around. It is, net, it is real granite uh, in, the, in the kitchen. It's very nice kind of recently installed. Anyway, so here we are in between the first two bedrooms of the home. This is a split floor plan uh, for the most part. So uh, these bedrooms over here, the master's kind of on the other corner of the house, which is nice. Um, let's go, let's just cut through here really quick. So through that, through those shades there is the backyard, which we will get to, I'll show you. I would like to show you the size of the closets in these. They're not massive by any means, but they're bigger than a lot that I've seen. So this should give you an idea of that. Some some stuff in there right now, but who doesn't have stuff in their in their extra uh, extra bedroom closet? Anyway, so we've got a Jack and a Jill here, uh, or a Jack and Jill bathroom, and um, it's not bad at all. It looks great in here. It's very clean, very nice. Definitely move in ready. Um, you might have some things that you would change to your personal taste, but every home almost every home that you're going to be looking at will have that um, there's a cool little window in here to the backyard to give some natural light in that bathroom now we're going to go to the other bedroom it has the same exact or roughly same exact size of closet and they're all pretty big so these this is a queen size bed gives you an idea there's plenty of room for queen size and two rather large um, nightstands here's the closet here it's the same. I mean, it's, it's very, very similar. I don't know if it's the exact same, so I don't want to guarantee that, but it's very similar. So let's go check out the kitchen here and the breakfast nook. So I love this kitchen. It has been updated. They've painted the cabinets white. Um, they've put in granite. The backsplash looks good. I love this granite. I think it's called like Santa Cecilia. The other thing I love about it is, I mean, this may not come across really well in video, but there's just so much so much granite in here you know so you've got a lot of spaces um cooking space and stuff it's got here's the electric range 
Um, it does have stainless steel appliances. So you have the oven, um, you have the microwave. By the way, this is a convection oven right there. Almost all of it matches. It's, I believe it's all kitchen. Oh, it is, yeah. So it's all KitchenAid, so that's great. These are 42 inch cabinets, by the way. So they are massive, okay? There's a lot in there. Uh, you also get a real pantry. I know this is a weird thing to say, but for some of you that have been looking at homes for a lot, you'll probably have experience where a lot of houses don't actually have one or it's built into the cabinets or something like that. Here is rather large. It's um, actually wider than these two French doors or the two doors, so it's kind of nice. I like it. Really quick, let's go see a few of the other things. Here is the utility room. There's some natural light coming in in here as well, which I like. I think that's that's good. Help you see stains and stuff. Um, that's where the one car garage is, and then access to the two car garages here. So everybody, if you park in the garage, you're coming in through the utility room. Uh, these cabinets are huge. This might actually be bigger than 42 inches. Um, it's really nice. And then there's some still storage space uh, on top as well. Got a utility sink in here, and then what they would call like a. a clothes folding area as well, and then some additional cabinets. So tons of space in this whole area. Um, there is lots of storage as well. There's a little breakfast nook over there. Uh, I'll show you the backyard here momentarily. There's two different ways to get out there, but uh, this is my view from the kitchen into the living room. The carpet is in, is in really great shape. I also understand if you were interested in different flooring um, types, I've got some great people I could you know, connect you with on that. It's got, it does have some nice built-ins. This is all easily modifiable if it's something that, maybe if you have a, have a larger TV or something like that. Uh, but yeah, it's easily fixable. There's gas logs here, and um, that's, that's pretty nice, pretty nice fireplace. And let's go see back here. So the third and fourth bedrooms are back here. Now this is also a queen size bed, I believe. It might be a full, actually, now that I'm looking at it. But um, still pretty spacious, large rooms. It's got that tall ceiling in here as well. Almost all of the extra bedrooms are the same. Now this one has maybe arguably a larger closet than the others, but ultimately if we're just judging by like volume or something, I would assume they're probably very similar. So it's kind of neat that you can, you know, go off to your master wing and kind of shut this door and have, have a little bit of that sound stay out there and not really go into the bedroom. You also sort of have um, your own entrance to the patio out of the master, which I'll show you in a minute. This is the final bed, or this is the, really the second um, bathroom we've seen. Again, more natural light coming in, which I love. Um, cabinetry there. This pedestal, is, this is a good one. Um, this is it's a nice bathroom. And I, you know, I like where this bathroom is because it separates this bedroom from the master. So you do have some, you know, a little bit of separation there. Now, here we are. Speaking of the master, here it is. So it has a sitting area here. I love this. Um, it always becomes a place to hang your clothes. <laughs> Almost always, right? Uh, I know there's not, not everybody lives like I do. Anyways, uh, there is crown molding in the master back here, which I, I do love. Uh, let's see, there's a picture of it. Looks beautiful. Makes the whole thing kind of seem grand, you know? Um, this is a king size bed, so this should give you a pretty good indicator of just how, you know, how big this room is. Um, I like it. This is a great, great home, great floor plan, and everything. Now we're in the master bathroom. Two sinks, of course. Cabinets are in great shape in here as well. It does have a huge soaking tub with, uh, not soaking tub, but a jacuzzi type tub. Um, it even has the access panel built in. So that's great. I've seen that so many times where there is no access panel. You have to kind of destroy it to fix the jacuzzi. But uh, shower does have the shelf. And it has some storage area behind there. I've always wondered how people use that. I never see a really good effective use of it. But here's the toilet area. Um, it does have natural light in here. Oh wait, no, no, never mind. I take that back. That's just a lot. There's also a phone in the toilet. Probably the biggest feature of the house. Just kidding. Uh, but it is nice to have. And I know so many people care about the master closet. So let's take a look and make sure that we've we've seen it all the way. So what I like is it's in kind of this cool corner of the home. Um, so the ceiling is really interesting how it works out, but there's 
there's really tall hanging stuff. And then there is, you know, your normal height for coats and I mean, you're like shirts and stuff like that kind of goes all the way around. You have these built-ins and then there's the lower height. So there's a pegboard in here too, which is probably really helpful for organization. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty great. That's the majority of the house. Now let's take a look at the backyard really quickly. Just so you know what you've got here. This, yes. okay. So what I love about this is there's a covered patio, okay? And it's pretty nice. Um, see where that column goes? That's about where it ends. There is a ceiling fan out here. It all looks very clean and nice. If you wanted to open up all these windows to the living room, you absolutely could. And it's just, uh, it'd just be beautiful. There's even a gas stub out right there for say your fire pit or for your stove. I'm sorry, for your grill, if you wanted to actually do that. Most people just wind up using gas, uh, like propane gas, kind of like that. So, you know, I had some realtors here today just doing like a preview. They were telling me that they, they think a pool could be put back here. You might have to tear up some of this extended huge um, patio, you know, to be able to do it. But you could certainly have some sort of, you know, swimming structure back here. Um, the positive thing here is if you don't want a pool and you don't want to mess with that, then, you know, you don't want to have a huge backyard either. And you don't want to have to have all this maintenance and stuff. And this is the yard for you. It's not a tiny one. Um, I'm going to go back here and just kind of show you a shot of me at the fence. But it's nothing terribly tiny. And you do have all this cool side yard, you know, because the house is kind of a, a different shape whenever you look at it from aerial view. But, uh, look, see, so it's not tiny. It doesn't look terrible at all. This is definitely a playable space. It's mostly level. And I like it. Um, I just don't know about the pool thing. So I can't guarantee that, but I'm sure somebody could think of a great shape and everything that would fit back here and still leave you some grass, you know, for the pets or whatever. But, um, all right, that is the house. Sorry for my rambling. If you have any questions or if there's anything I can help you with, please either reach out to your agent. If you don't have an agent, then please reach out to me and I'd love to help you. Thank you very much. Bye.